Hi again, Coach Waldo here from Training for Warriors, bringing you a little more information with regard to stretching, both uh, uh, primarily for those of you that run or walk or, or maybe just physically active, going to the gym on a regular basis. And uh, a couple of things that you should know is that uh, our latest research in the last decade or so have kind of pretty much established that prior to working out, so if you're trying to warm up for running or going for a walk or uh, just going to the gym and lifting weights, that type of a thing, or maybe it's a cardio class, that dynamic warm-up drills are the way to go. What we know is that with, with regard to reducing injuries and performing better, that warming up your body slowly and building the body temperature, uh, in other words, getting blood flow out to the working muscles, has the best effect with respect to reducing injuries and pain uh, during activity, all right? So uh, static stretching where typically we might uh, say, for example, get into a particular position and hold a hamstring stretch for a set number of seconds generally is thought to be best after physical activity unless you have a specific injury that maybe your therapist or maybe you've been through uh, surgery or something like that where you have a significant num amount of scar tissue in your body, then some static stretching prior to physical activity can be helpful. But unless that's the case for you, we wanna stick with dynamic movement and stretching for your warm-up activities.